Hey, my name is Mike Bishop. I'm a syndication professional. I specialize in raising capital and I'm also a high tech professional and you can catch me on the Jesse T Show. Mike Bishop, welcome to the Jesse T Show, brother. Hey, Jesse. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, man. It's been, it's been a pleasure. Um, you know, how we connected just for some context for the listeners and the viewers is a gentleman by the name of Todd Armstrong. Todd Armstrong has become a powerful force in my life for podcasting and for some business. And um, I know he's helping you out as well. How did you connect with Todd? Uh, Todd, I was connected to Todd through my um, business and uh, professional co or personal and professional coach. Um, he had worked with uh, Todd's partner, Christopher Dedean, and um, they, they connected me because I, I had expressed to my coach that I, you know, I wanted to start getting on some podcasts and sharing some of my knowledge and connecting with folks like you. So they connected us and um, Todd and I got the opportunity to chat and it was a perfect mesh. Um, you know, we got along both personally and professionally and we decided to work together. That's beautiful. Yeah. He's a great human being. I tend to find uh, people to do life and business with that are heart centric. He's one of those guys. He's also a huge SEC football fan, which makes for good conversation. He's super competitive, super great guy, family guy. And uh, you mentioned Chris today and I've had Chris today on the podcast before too. another great guy. Again, good people, know good people. So it's good to know that you're in that circle. So for the listeners, if you could just give us a little color and context as to who you are and what you do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my name is Mike Bishop. Um, I, Daylight, quote unquote, I like to say daylight as a, um, a high tech professional. Uh, anybody here who's listening is familiar with tech. I'm a site reliability engineer uh, at Salesforce. And then I also run a business uh, in the syndication space where I specialize in raising capital and um, investor relations. And for those that that's not ringing a bell, um, I essentially help folks identify uh, opportunities to invest in commercial real estate. So, um, you know, multifamily, self storage, mobile home parks. And then uh, I'm, I serve as their point of contact through the, pro the project life cycle. So, um, you know, helping you identify the pro helping you identify opportunities and then um, helping you actually fund and get through that process. And then your point of contact for any questions, uh, updates on project status, all those things through the life cycle. So. And, and what drew you to that industry? Because I know that you're in tech right now is the daylight side, but the moonlighting is the syndication. And, and, and I'm familiar with that. That's. Um, that industry and we, we could dive into some of the particulars, but what drew you to it? What, what got you excited about it? Did you become an investor yourself? Did you get hooked? Like what was the, the impetus for you to start with that trajectory? Yeah, for sure. Um, so as far back as I can remember, I've been, you know, I've had a, a really strong passion for personal finance um, and for investing in, you know, securing your future, family legacy, all that stuff. Um, that was, that, that dates back to probably elementary school, honestly. Um, and then, you know, when I graduated college, I took a job in tech. That's just kind of the path that my degree took me down and my connections kind of landed me in that spot. But um, I took that job and I moved to Austin. I, had, I met some folks that were doing real estate uh, and, you know, they kind of showed me the power, the wealth building power and the financial freedom power of real estate. So I jumped in, um, you know, pretty shortly after graduating, I bought a house in Austin uh, with the intention to turn it into a rental property because that's what these folks were doing that um, that I had talked to. But it, it didn't take me very long to realize that I wasn't going to be able to scale that the way that I wanted to scale that, you know, the capital requirements and oh, yeah. not to mention Austin was just a crazy hot market. And I was pretty really early on in my career, actually, at that point. And frankly, I just didn't have the capital to scale the way I wanted to. So I started exploring other avenues um, of real estate after realizing the power that real estate has. And um, kind of started talking to anybody who would meet with me, offering coffee, lunch, you know, to, to just anybody who would share their knowledge. Um, and that's when I ran into the person who's my mentor now and learned about what we call real estate syndication. Um, and, you know, through this process, I pretty quickly realized that this is combining the power of real estate with my passion for personal finance and investing and, you know, securing your financial future. Um, and it took me all of 30 minutes to decide once I really learned what this was. And once I met with my now mentor, um, this is what I want to do, you know? So I jumped in, I started the Bishop Investing Group uh, pretty shortly after that. And within a couple months of forming my LLC, I was on my first deal. And it's been um, a crazy, but really exciting and really awesome ride since then. I want to talk about the trajectory, the journey of, of your first deal and then onwards, but a couple things first. So um, for 
for Austin, number one, I'm a huge fan of Austin. I love Austin. I love the scene down there. There's this budding entrepreneur tech. Uh, a lot of people that are kind of, I'm in the spirituality, a lot of people that are spiritual down there. And it's like a lot of people that are in the health and wellness. So it's like, it's like my Mecca in the United States for people that are in the business, health and wellness and spirituality. So Austin has my, one of the places in the world that has my heart. Um, and as far as, um, you know, syndication goes, talk about real estate and real estate, you know, we're both, I was in finance for 11 years and you're investing in finance now. And real estate is the, the number one way that people make wealth in this lifetime. Uh, yeah. People people look to the stock market, they look to Bitcoin, they look to alternative investments, they look to precious metals. And some people can quote unquote, like pun intended, strike gold, but most people don't. And most people are chasing returns on the market six or 7%, but they're also getting fees that are eating into that. And they're, you know, they're not being wise with their money. So a lot of people in the world have actually built their wealth through real estate. And whether it's you know, uh, you know, primary homes for personal people, whether it's, you know, investment properties, Airbnbs, whether it's syndication, like what you do. Um, I've been intrigued by syndication because I know the power of it. I know, I know the, the, the mass, uh, the, the force multiplication that you can have with multiple properties, multiple units. Um, because I, I've been in real estate for, as an individual investor, and I've done like fix and flips, uh, going to be doing some buy and hold type stuff. But for me, um, I, I realized the slow burn that it is. If you buy one second property and it goes into your, your portfolio, but now you have like maybe a second mortgage, mortgage, if you haven't paid it off and you're hoping that your tenants are good and you got to manage that and you're hoping stuff doesn't break down in the house and maybe you hire a management company. Like there's a lot more to it than people realize. So, you know, it sounds like you had that experience. You bought this other home that, or you had this other home in Austin, but you learned pretty quickly that that wasn't your jam. What was it that, that, that caught your eye or helped you to switch from that mentality of maybe I'll buy a few properties, collect a few rents to now getting into syndication with dozens of properties, mobile homes, all these different things. What was that, that switch for you? There was a couple of things to it, really. Um, I realized with syndication, I can help other people, you know, with buying my own uh, single family, small multis, you can help other people and and, um, you know, uh, partner up with other people to a degree, but with syndication and the route that I specifically took in syndication being a capital raiser and focusing on investor relations side, I get to help a ton of people. So like I said earlier, that was kind of a passion for me. So that really drew me in. And then uh, just the passiveness of it. So for those that are not familiar with the syndication model, um, the simplest I can put it is it's a pooling of resources from a bunch of different parties to get something done. So as a passive investor uh, or, you know, the folks that I help invest in these deals, it's about as passive as it gets. The most work you're doing is vetting the operator up front. Um, and then you basically sit back and collect checks. So I've heard from so many people that they're just done with the single family homes or done with the small multis. Uh, they're really business in their, or really busy in their W-2 or their business or whatever it is. And they just don't have time for yep. real estate, but yep. they want to take advantage of the income producing and wealth building powers of real estate. Um, and, you know, syndication accomplishes all those things more than probably any asset class that I've ran across today. So I would say it's those two things that drew me that way. 